The Blazers are figuring out what they are. Thursday's dominant win over Memphis opened eyes nationally. The players say all that's been accomplished is a solid start to the season. Detroit has also shot out of the gate behind Andre Drummond. Will they come up with a formula that'll pop young Portland's balloon? The Pistons visit Rip City now on Comcast Sportsnet. It's a Sunday night in the Rose City, the end of a rainy weekend in what is still in the beginning of a long NBA season. The Trailblazers keep reminding people, yes, we know it's early when terms like surprising and Cinderella are thrown out to describe the start of their season. Two impressive road wins that are out of the team that routed them in the first round of last year's playoffs sum up Portland's last three games. And now it is Detroit inside Moda Center that will attempt to topple the feel-good early story in Portland. Detroit 4-1. Portland four and two and welcome courtside everyone Mike Barrett along with Mike Rice things happening perhaps quicker than expected for both of these teams Portland and Detroit Detroit is anchored of course in the middle by Andre Drummond and he has led them to this great start yeah he was Eastern player of the week because against the Pacers he had 25 points and 29 rebounds He's averaging seven offensive rebounds a game. That's unheard of in the NBA. He's number one in second chance points, 36 on the year. He's number one in double doubles, so the Blazers will have their hands full trying to stay out of foul trouble. This guy gets to the foul line a lot. Plumlee, on the other hand, shooting 66%. That's number four in the NBA. He's 23 of 35. He knows where to get his shot. He has 21 personal fouls, so the Blazers have to watch out for that because Drummond is a guy that will make it get into foul trouble. His assist totals make him one of the best passing centers in the NBA. He really finds his teammates. That's why Lillard and CJ are having such an outstanding start. Here's the McDonald's matchup. You see Drummond's numbers are ridiculous. 19 points, 19 rebounds. That obviously number one in the NBA, the rebound total. Mason Plumley, solid numbers, almost averaging near double-double territory. 10 points, eight rebounds, and there you see what you talked about, the assist, the three assists per game. Will the Trailblazers be a three-point shoot, uh, shooting team this year? That question was asked a lot. Whose broad stripes and 
12 mark Toyota t-shirt exchange participants who are on the floor right now ready to receive an autograph six man t-shirt from the players during the productions tonight. Good Ball is brought to you by Moda Health, offering better health plans for the real you. By Wells Fargo. On your phone, online, on the go, Wells Fargo makes it easy to get banking done. And by Les Schwab Tire Centers, home of the best tire value promise. And back here in Portland, where Detroit is trying to do what they haven't done since March 14th of 2007. That is win in Portland. They're certainly off to a good start this year. Let's get you the local Ford store's keys to the game for those we turn to the coach. Mike Rice, what are your keys? Well, the first one's really a difficult key. Win the rebound battle. The Blazers are 4-0 and when they out-rebound the opponent. They're 0-2 when they lose the rebound battle. This Detroit team rebounds well. Number two. Lillard and CJ get 35 field goal attempts. They're averaging almost 40 field goal attempts, so they just need 35 between the two of them. And that should be enough scoring from the backcourt. Aminu have a double-double. He already has two on the year, and that's really surpassing what he did in Dallas. So have another one tonight, number three. They need scoring and rebounding tonight from Aminu. Those are the local Ford Store's keys. When we come back, we'll get you the starters and tip it off. Detroit has a talented front line. We know that, but Mason, Mason Plumley has fit in perfectly in Portland so far, and Myers Leonard rediscovered his shooting touch Thursday. The battle of the bigs will be fun to watch tonight. We'll tip it off next. It's 